Many of them put their life on the line for our safety. Now the community has an opportunity to come together to recognize the wonderful job that our public servants do. And you know what? Actually thank them. Exactly. And Paula Behrman is here to tell us more about the Public Servants Appreciation Day event. And Noemi Height is also here to explain how it will benefit the Eric Height Foundation. Ladies, welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank for you. So we have this great event coming up. What is it really about? Uh, the event's about thanking our public servants for putting their lives on the line every day to protect us and our families and to bring recognition to the Height Foundation. And now, when we say public servants, uh, who exactly is coming at, uh, to represent the public servants? We have law enforcement, military, any government official. It encompasses everyone that, that works for the government. So why do you think it's so important we have an event like this in our community? It's important to bring recognition to the public servants, to thank them for what they do for us, to take a minute out of our day to shake their hand, and just to get to know them on a personal level. And it's also just to bring the community together. And you know what, I always think about this also. If you bring your children out to an event like this, sometimes when they get to meet a police officer or a firefighter, it may be in a scary situation. Maybe they were in a car accident or maybe they're at the house because of a fire. This is an opportunity for them to come and see them on a totally different level, recognize that they're great you know, people that work in our community. And it's not scary at that moment and really see them for the heroes that they really are. Exactly. They're people just like us. They have families just like us. And they're not to be seen as, as scary, like you yeah. said, with children. They're, they're just everyday people, but with a special position in the community. I mean, we all exactly. said we wanted to be a police officer, a firefighter at one point in time in our life. No, and I love this because this is also a way that we can kind of introduce our children to those occupations. And it's, it's a family-friendly event, which I know we always love. So tell us more about what we can expect at the actual event. Well, the event, um, we originally started doing just a, a barbecue, a drive-through for a complimentary meal for our, our public servants. And then last year, we decided to encompass the community and to also turn it into a fundraiser. And we chose the Eric Height Foundation. Eric is laid to rest at East Lawn. Um, so we thought it would be the perfect fit. And, and to involve our community, we had over 53 um, businesses and nonprofits attend. And it's just a way for our community to get together as a whole and to thank our public servants and, and just to all be together. We all live here. We're all, you know, Tucson, Tucsonians and, and you know, law enforcement is part of our community. And I think that's amazing that you have uh, chosen the Eric uh, Height Foundation as the beneficiary. Noemi, of course, we've had you on before. Thank you yes. for returning. Thank you for having uh, me again. Tell me a little bit more again about the foundation, where some of these funds will be going. Yeah, all the funds that, we're, that they are going to raise for us that day, 100% uh, will go to our child care center that we have for uh, first responders. So our center is full capacity, and we are having other plans to open our second location now in the Northwest. So 100% of all those funds go straight directly to the families. So okay. yeah, we have a waiting list on this uh, center right now. So all those funds, again, go directly to our families. Well, I'm mm -hmm. so happy to hear that you guys are thinking about a second yes. location. You guys are doing yeah. such great work. Amazing Thank work. And I mean, it must mean so much to be the recipient of these funds and, and yes. to have this partnership. I mean, what does that yes. really mean to the foundation? Well, it was really uh, amazing to get a phone call from Paula two years ago and said, we have chosen you to receive the funds from this fundraise, uh, fundraising event. And uh, we were just honored to know that they, there's so much uh, support from the community to us, and not just to the foundation, but that is makes a connection with all the first responders that we serve, and that we want to provide you know, the resources that they need. Well, this yeah. absolutely seems like a, a perfect correlation between yes. this event and, of course, the foundation. Now, exactly. if someone beyond this event wants to help, or if there's anything they can do for you, how is the best way for us to help you guys? There's so many different uh, ways on our website. Uh, we have uh, different um, opportunities there uh, displayed. And just, you know, go to our website, call us. Uh, you, they'll be able to get a hold of, of us by email, phone calls, and uh, just, you know, come up to all our events. And that's the way all our events are family-oriented, family and they are always there. The first responders are always there. So they need our support. They love, you know, the 
community to come and talk to them. Just like we were saying earlier, they're just normal people like us and they love to interact with our community. So yeah, just check our website, uh, www.ericheightfoundation.org and they be able to reach us easily. I mean, thank you so much. Yeah. And Paula, please tell everyone that's involved with this organization that we tell them thank you so much for doing this for another year to help the foundation. That was yeah. such a great thing. We hope this gets bigger and better every year. Yes. Thank you. And thank I just want to mention, too, we yeah. do have a, a blood drive, a memorial blood drive through the American Red Cross. So if you donate blood, stop by. And okay. it's uh, in memory of Eric Height. Yep. So there's so much going on at the yes. event. Ladies, thank yeah. you again so thank much. You. Thank you for having us. The second annual Public Servant Appreciation Day will take place this Saturday from 11.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. at 5801 East Grant Road. For more details, give them a call at 885-6741, extension 157, or you can also log on to eastlawnpalmsmortuary.com.